Hi everybody and thanks for watching this video. This is a peek inside my online classroom and I call it Math Class with Terry V. I'm Terry Van Oy and thanks for visiting. Um, students, if you'd like to be uh, connected live with me, I can help you out with what you're studying. The first lesson is free as I uh, show you how everything works. But why don't you give me a call or go to my website and we can have a conversation. All right, in this video, continuing the video series about the unit circle, um, we're looking at how trig functions, sine, cosine, tangent, and others, are related to the unit circle. Now, in this video, we're going to get into common trig values. And the key there is finding the triangles, looking for the triangles in the unit circle. Now, here's what I mean. So here's the unit circle, and it's a diagram I use often in this video series. And if the question is, what is the value of the cosine or the sine or even the tangent at certain angles well there's two things you have to figure out first of all what kind of triangle are you talking about and where is the sine and the cosine in that triangle so first of all let's say that we're looking at a 30 degree angle on the unit circle which of course is pi over 6 same thing and we're gonna be having a endpoint on that hypotenuse at right here now the idea is it's a right triangle and if you draw a vertical line right there and another line right there we have an X and a Y value right it's a right triangle just the way we've drawn that angle okay so we have a 30 60 90 triangle and we have a X leg and a Y leg alright let's see what happens when we look at that 30 60 90 triangle in that kind of triangle, a 30, 60, 90 triangle, because we know this angle is 60 degrees, um, there's certain relationships that the legs have with the hypotenuse. Now because we are coming from the unit circle, we know that the hypotenuse is one whole unit long. Obviously that's the longest side of this right triangle. The vertical part and the short leg of this triangle is the y value and the horizontal part is the x value. Now knowing what we know about sines and cosines, remember that the if we use the 30 degree angle as a reference angle, the opposite side, which is where I have y, over the hypotenuse, so y over 1 equals sine. So the sine value is the vertical or the Y leg all right in a unit circle triangle the vertical leg is the sine the horizontal leg is the cosine all right now that's true no matter what angle we're talking about here so that's something you have to kind of keep in mind all right the vertical part is sine wherever you're gonna go up and down is the sine value and the left or right part is the cosine. Now that relationship is going to be true no matter the orientation of these 30, 60, 90 triangles. So if I look at these three examples here, the hypotenuse is always going to be 1 no matter where it is and the way the triangle is oriented. Um, the vertical leg is always the sine and the horizontal leg is always the cosine. All right, so notice how it looks when we look at the rotations of these three 30, 60, 90 right triangles. Now that is key to figuring out trig values at different angles on the unit circle. But what are those values of the sine and cosine legs? Well, because of the Pythagorean theorem, and the fact that the hypotenuse is 1 and just the relationship between the legs and the hypotenuse this is always going to be true the, the shortest leg of the right triangle so it's opposite the 30 degree angle is always 1 half okay it's always half the length of the hypotenuse and the longer leg is radical 3 times longer than that so it's going to be radical 3 over 2 alright now these are probably some values that you're going to have to just memorize. Alright, so across from the 30 degree angle 
is one half. That would be vertical here in this case, the sine value. The longest leg, which is opposite the 60 degree angle, notice how it's longer, is radical 3 over 2. So, in these examples here, the sine values are always one half. Notice how it's the shorter leg. Here, though, it's the cosine value, the way the um, triangle is oriented. The longer leg is always radical 3 over 2. All right, now that is going to tie into when we go around the unit circle and look at radians and degrees of certain angles, we're going to be able to figure out the trig values. So let's take a look. So for this 30 degree angle, which is pi over 6, we notice that the vertical leg here is the sine and the horizontal leg is cosine. And in these ordered pairs here we're at the end of the hypotenuse point, Notice how it's cosine followed by sine, just because of the way the triangle is oriented. So, if I'm looking at this leg right here, that is obviously one half, and that's the sine value. Okay? If I'm looking at this vertical part here, then that is the cosine value. All right, so it takes a little bit of time, but in trying to memorize the shapes and the legs of these right triangles, the key is to remember cosine followed by sine, okay? Horizontal followed by vertical. Let's look at a 60 degree angle. So we go from here to here, and that's my hypotenuse. Notice 60 degrees is the same as pi over 3 radians. Now, if we construct this right triangle, then I can look at my sine and cosine values. The cosine value is here. which is one half and the sine value is this vertical leg here which is radical 3 over 2. Again several points to emphasize this is the 30-60-90 triangle and the relationship is always short leg is one half in this case that's this distance here and that is the cosine value always comes first in the ordered pair and the vertical leg here happens to be the longer leg of that kind of a triangle, and it is radical 3 over 2. So short leg is 1 half, long leg is radical 3 over 2, cosine gets listed first, that's the horizontal part, and then the vertical part, which in this case is the longer leg, radical 3 over 2. There are all kinds of 30, 60, 90 triangles in this unit circle diagram. And here's another one. Let's say we go out to 120 degrees. We open it up this wide. And notice how I can make this right triangle again, 30, 60, 90. So there's my short leg. That's the cosine value. And the longer leg is the sine value. So notice how the cosine value is negative, though, because we go back here. All right? Notice how it's negative 1 half. And radical 3 over 2 is this vertical part. That's the sine value, radical 3 over 2. Hey, here's another one. Okay, notice how we can make another right triangle. And the short leg here is a negative on the y-axis there, and that's negative 1 half. And the longer leg is radical 3 over 2 because we're going this way on the cosine value, okay, going backwards on the x-axis. All right, and of course, here's another one. So anytime you have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and there's a lot of them on this unit circle, you have that kind of relationship. All right, so let's look at that point. Well, you're going to go out this way, positive direction. That's the short leg distance. That's 1 half. That's the cosine. Then here is the sine value, negative radical 3 over 2. That's this distance going down this way on the y-axis. All right, so if you can just focus on 30, 60, 90 triangles and you know the short leg is 1 half, the long leg is radical 3 over 2, then you've got it. Now in the next video we're going to be looking at 45 degree angles. Okay, Those are some isosceles right triangles that um, also show up on this unit circle. Then we'll do some problem sets to practice. Thanks for watching this video.